Hi, this is Charles English with Bish's RV in beautiful Meridian, Idaho. And today I have a Jayco J Feather Micro 171BH that I wanna share with you guys today. So come on and follow me and let me show you some features of this. We'll start with the front of the unit here. Nice power tongue jack. It helps level it front to back when you're camping. And also it helps it much easier to get it on and off your truck. Oversized dual propane tanks. And then you have a battery tray behind there, big enough for two batteries on there. This comes with the nice Nerf bars. So if you're going off road, this trailer is really designed for that family that likes to kind of create their own adventures. Maybe not always go to a state park or a national park or a campground. Maybe go out in the middle of nowhere, find that cool little spot and set up camp. And this little guy is completely self-contained. You got the nice solid steps. You got about 12 to 15 inches of adjustment on those legs, depending on your campsite. And then Jayco does a nice thoughtful features, nice steel fenders you can stand on if you had to. And they don't skimp on the tires and wheels. Alloy wheels and American-made Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires that have a speed rating up to 87 miles an hour. This is something new this year. This is called the J-Port system. It's much like a trailer hitch, and they have accessories that slide into here. This is what comes with the coach. It's all steel, so it's designed to put a barbecue, a two-burner stove, maybe a griddle, and it comes with a barbecue. It's, our, it's wrapped in the box. I didn't want to take it out. Also on the side over here, you got two nice waterproof marine grade outdoor speakers. So you can sit under this nice big awning and enjoy your favorite music or podcast or whatever it is you like to listen to. And this is a factory installed TV mount. So you have a 12 volt television. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we head inside. But you can take that 12 volt TV and move it outside and watch your favorite sports or TV show outside. Moving around to the back here. Um, this has got the nice kind of rugged looking diamond plate on the rear here. LED lights all the way around, including LED backup lights. Jayco calls out their smart lighting system. So when you put your blinker on, it's gonna blink everything on that side of the vehicle. All the side ones, everything on the front cap and the light up there as well. So anybody around you knows what your intentions are. This ladder, as you might guess, is designed to be removed. It can be removed to the other side over here. I'll show you that here in just a second where that would attach. And then they didn't skimp on the spare tire. Oftentimes with most RVs, you get kind of a steel wheel on the spare. Jayco doesn't skimp on that. It's a matching alloy wheel to match the other wheels with an American-made Goodyear tire. And here at Bish's RV, we'll give you a spare tire cover for that when you head home. One of the neat features on this is this unit is a bunk model, hence the BH in the, in the uh, model description of it. And this little access door is not really designed for people to go in or out because there's no stairs, but it's really designed an easy way to load your gear or your pets or what have you. And this bunk slides up just like that and locks. You got some lights down here. You got some tie down points, whatever it is you like to take with you camping. You put a couple kids bikes in there, maybe a small little generator, a couple coolers. And then, it, and also you can put a kid down here or dogs if you had to, because this is your bottom bunk that I just moved. And you're gonna see the top bunk when we go back inside. But Jayco doesn't skimp on the amenities for the person sleeping in the bunk bed. You have a, a 110 power, you have USB ports there and a little net here to put your phone or iPad or books or what have you. And of course this can be locked from the inside. And then moving around, you have the nice dark tinted windows. A lot of travel trailers in this category don't even have tinted windows. An outdoor shower with hot and cold water, a uh, six gallon water heater, the same size water heater you would find in a much larger unit. And Jayco has these already prepped for side cameras. So this J Feather Micro line is uh, Jayco's new line. It came out about a year ago and it replaced their Hummingbird line, which was much like an R-Pod. They kind of reinvented the whole segment. And this is designed for that family that wants to just kind of get out there in the middle of nowhere and kind of create their own adventure. Let's go check out the inside. Can't forget to mention Jayco's warranty, industry leading warranty, two years on everything, three years on the structure and 20 years on the roof. You got lots of lighting. We have this hooked up to a battery box right now. Lots of LED lights throughout the unit and lots of just thoughtful storage. This is a great floor plan for a couple or maybe a couple with a couple kids. Um, you got the bed for mom and dad up front here. You have a couple of these little ottomans that slide out. And you can use these to store blankets or pillows or whatever you want to put in there. Also an extra, it's nice 
padded cushion, a nice place just to kind of sit down and have an extra seating surface on the interior. If the weather turns on you and you're not hanging outside and you're hanging inside the coach, you can put a couple of those here and play games or what have you. A nice little um, dinette that does turn into additional sleeping. So if you didn't need to sleep more than four, you could. Big window. Notice all the windows do open to so get a nice breeze going through here. And Jayco didn't skimp on the fan. They put the fantastic fan in. That's going to work like a whole house fan. It's going to move a lot of air. Over the kitchen over here, um, kind of the usual suspects in the kitchen, a nice three burner stove that you might expect. No oven, but that's not really all that uncommon. Most people don't use ovens in an RV, but you do have a microwave. And then what I really like, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's a big deal to me, is you have a drawer for pots and pans. That is something that seems to so times be forgotten on RVs. And the finish you're looking at is what they call the modern farmhouse. It does come in the country cottage as well. Again, more storage. And then moving into the fridge, this is kind of the way the industry is going. This is a 12 volt fridge. Uh, that's kind of the direction the industry is going, which means you can go off grid. You're not relying on propane, you're relying on batteries. And this has solar on the roof already, 190 watts of solar. Keep those battery or batteries charged. It's gonna power this freezer and fridge. And this is a big, deep, eight, um, eight cubic foot fridge. It's much deeper than the normal eight cubic foot that you would see. And then moving into the bathroom here, um, I'll let the camera guy get over here so you can shoot that. I call this a proper bath as opposed to a wet bath. Um, nothing wrong with wet baths, but I think most of us prefer to not stand over a toilet when we're showering. And this is going to be a, uh, you know, really has everything you expect in a bathroom. A toilet, separate from the shower, a good size shower, sink, and cabinet area for a trailer that's this small, that's this size. And the size of this trailer can be towed behind most SUVs. You know, your Jeep Cherokees, your Volkswagen Atlases, your Kia Tellurides can all tow something this size. Um, here's the bunks we were talking about. You couldn't see this bunk when we were outside earlier, but this would be your top bunk, your bottom bunk, and you have an area down there below for stuff. I guess you could put a kid down there or probably an ideal spot for just a couple of dogs or, or you know, if you bring your furry friends with you when you go camping. More cabinet space over here above the dinette. And the people who buy a trailer like this typically are ones that like to spend a lot of time outside. So you don't have a lot of things you don't need on the interior. You have everything you do need, but nothing, nothing you don't need. Again, this is Charles English at Bish's RV in Mer beautiful Meridian, Idaho. And if you like this video, like and subscribe, because uh, I will be making more. Thanks so much.